Hi, today I will show you how to make a wrap with material that may be too short. This one is exactly one yard long. For me that's too short because I usually have two and a half to three yards to use a fabric. This was on the last rim. This was the last rim of, fa of fabric. So, or the last of the fabric on the rim. So I will show you how to do it. First you have to take an under wrap with material that is long enough for you to manipulate. This one is a tan fabric. I prefer fabric that is the same color on both sides. You put it over your head. problem with the too short fabric is that you can't tuck into a fold on both sides so you have to literally hold it from this side or, or whichever hand that you have you have to hold it on one side and then overlap the fabric over it um, overlap the fabric it helps if you have flexible fingers and hands I mean sorry fingers and wrist you have to have flexibility in your fingers and in your wrist when you're doing these high wraps. No stiff hand movements for these. You have to be very flexible. You don't want it to look too flat. You want it to have some folds. Let me see this timed out so I can't see what I'm doing. But you can see me. Try to give it a little roundness on top and not to look so flat as if someone's pushed everything down. And you just make sure that everything is tucked in neatly, securely, and you can add whatever you want to to it. This one in particular I'm not fond of for this fabric that I'm wearing, which is a leopard print at the time on the, this is cheetah, cheetah print. Put on your earrings. I put on big earrings after I apply my wrap, otherwise they are in the way for, for me. It is your preference. And that's pretty much it. So if you have fabric that isn't long enough, then you must put another wrap under it. You must. There's there's nothing else to do unless you just do a simple um, twist wrap that doesn't have any height to it. But you can still wear it for uh, for height by putting another wrap underneath it. Or, or I would like to say using your hair, but because it's too short, you won't have the foundation, so you need to put a wrap even over your hair if you have long dreads. Now, I will also show another one, which this fabric is very long and wide. It is about four yards. And once I show you how to work and manipulate the longer fabric, this is about four and a half yards, then you should be able to go out and teach others. So this is a really nice wrap. I enjoy this fabric print. I have looked for it, uh, looked for more of it, and it's actually a very cheap fabric that I had gotten. This is not Velisco wax at all. And see, these are easy to take down. Now, this is the longer one. That I will use same technique and you always want to get near the hairline you always want to start near the brow and then push up this 
same technique, both sides are even. So I'm literally grabbing this part. I'm bringing it closer in. Now one of the th tricks with these is that I like to show my under wrap, so it's no problem for me. But if you don't, as I've said in another video, now that you have it wrapped, you can cover it. Make sure that you bring up the height once you're done so that it doesn't look so flat on your head. And because this is more fabric, you will be able to tuck. This is height. I have no problem with it. Just make sure that when you get into a car, and if you're already a tall girl, that you dip the head down, dip your head down now, because you will bump into the roof of the car, you'll bump into quite a few things. Tall girl issues. But these look lovely on tall men. So don't be ashamed to give yourself some more height with your wrap. Now in the back, I tuck. I tuck in the back. I'm gonna step step away from the camera so you can see. And this one, what I'm doing is I'm gonna give it some some uh, roundness. So instead of it looking so flat, you can manipulate this top. It's the only piece you have to worry with now. The last piece that you're tucking in. That's it. So now what I will do, so that it isn't so flat on my head, I'm going to take this piece. Remember, I have the other piece underneath it. I'm going to push it up. For me, I do mine on the side. Others may want theirs right in the middle, the, the, the point, their angle. I like mine on the side. And I prefer to wear mine this way. You can accessorize it if you want to by putting uh, an earring in right here, putting it into the fabric itself and letting it hang down like a bitty. If you know what that is, Google it, B-I-T-I. -I. You can use stretch bands, decorate it, bring them across. You can use little bow ties, clip them on on the side. I I make my own. These are some old ones. These were some. These are prototypes that I had. I mean, it doesn't match with these, so I wouldn't do that, honey. You might look. No, well, it don't matter what you look like. Where would you feel? Or you can use imitation flowers or real flowers. And tuck them in. I do this on days when I'm not feeling well. I like to just put flowers. I'll have a goo gob of flowers on my head, or you can use an additional scarf and wrap it around a thin scarf and wrap it around. So you have so many different choices. And before anyone asks, this is a summer dress that I have put another long sleeve top with, and uh, that's pretty much it. I have on pants underneath and I have no issues with putting my clothes together. I can't find my belt, but you can put a belt around the waist if you want to. This is a high-waisted one, so it works for me. And uh, 
that's pretty much it. So now that you have seen the wrap, it is something that takes practice. It doesn't mean that you can't get it. It is another thing to put a wrap onto someone else. So definitely pr keep practicing on yourself and keep practicing on another person if you want to have it presented for other people to see. Always practice ahead of time. Never get out there and just do it. Learn your fabrics. Learn their behavior. Every piece of fabric has its own personality. And learn measurements. Uh, learn fabric manipulation. That is part of understanding the fabrics because they do all have personality. So you may have two pieces of cotton that seem the same uh, or two, two, two types of fabric that seem like they are the same. And they will both behave differently. And that is a whole other subject. Everything has memory, even when it's turned into something else. So uh, I'll get on that metaphysical stuff on an, at another time. But definitely master your fabrics and don't just go out there and teach blindly. Know what you are doing. Have a good day. Peace. And go out there and teach.